Hey guys, Super Gamer Bro 6 Note here, and today I'm going to be doing a review slash what I personally think of um, something. And today I'm going to be thinking like some people at school have been asking me, do I like the PS Vita or do I prefer the 3DS? Now, in my opinion, I'm going to be discussing in this video my opinion on what I think of the PS Vita, which I prefer the PS Vita or the 3DS. Also, the reason why I'm doing this video is because one of my friends, or you might know him as Skills No Hacks on YouTube, you can go um, find him right here um, for a couple seconds. Um, he and um, he recently got a 3DS. But then he recently um, says that um, the 3DS is rubbish, it has no games, even though he just bought one game. And he said that he's going to trade it in for a, peanut, for a PS Vita. Now, this actually caused a big debate among my friends. Most people said that the PS Vita was better. And out, me and, and my friends that is making a YouTube channel soon... We said that we prefer the 3DS, and it just caused a big debate. Now, in this video, I'm going to be saying what I personally think. I'm going to send him this video. Dude, if you're watching this video, this is my opinion. This is what I think of your PS Vita that you are going to be getting. I'm going to be reviewing it for you before you even get it as well. So, let's get started. Well, we all know that the PS Vita and the Nintendo 3DS is currently clashing in today. Well, was most people prefer the Nintendo 3DS because of its library of games, its two screens, and better controls in some opinions. <coughs> in my opinion, I prefer the PS Vita's controls. That's simply because there's more buttons and it feels more comfortable to hold. But, overall... I think that the 3DS is better because I think that the library of games is better in my opinion. Even though you have games like Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril for the Nintendo 3DS and the PS Vita, on the, on the PS Vita you need to put your hands all over the screen to play the game. On the 3DS obviously because you have two screens you only need to put your hand or your fingers on the bottom screen. I guess that's not really a downside, I just think that it's just not for me. iPhone and iPads get away with it though, because they're not really consoles, they're just devices that you play games on, so they actually escape that. But since the PS Vita is a console and supposed to be a PS4 portable, I find it to be a problem. Now the 3DS, with the games like I was carry on saying, it's Besides the controls, I do think that the 3DS's games are just better because even though on the PS Vita you have a game, you have games like Tearaway, Lego Marvel, as I said, and the new Avengers that's coming out on both systems as well. Um, I still think that you can get the Mario franchise, you can get the Sonic franchise, Fire Emblem, um. And there's just so many other games like Zelda and Resident Evil and like you can even get virtual console games. <coughs> also for the um, PS Vita, it is much more expensive than the 3DS. You are almost play paying about two or three hundred pounds, or maybe if you find a good deal, one hundred pounds for um, a PS Vita. Now, again, this is not really a downside, I just think that it's just not for me. Like I said, this video is just all based on my opinion, all me. And, yeah, look, most of my friends at school believe that the PS Vita is better because it has better controls, it's more comfortable, and in their opinion, the games are better. In my opinion, the games are kind of lazy, they're, some, some of them feel like they're rushed, and the Terraria run there is actually alright. But that's, that's all there is to it. The YouTube and all of the other iPad and iPhone-ish apps that are on there, they're great. And and I will admit the graphics on the PS Vita, in my opinion, is better than the 3DS. 
However, overall, the 3DS has come a long way. There's much more versions of it. You can get it in multiple colours, not just um, black and white. <coughs> new 3DS. Um, you can get you can get the original 3DS. You can get the XL. You can get the 2DS. You can get the new 3DS and the new 3DS XL. Yeah, this is not this is not confusing at all, is it? But the PS Vita. It only has a black version and a white version and included in a slim. Please forgive me if I've made any mistakes so far or if I've left out a version of the PS Vita. But the 3DS, the 3DS, its library of games is just so much better to me because you can you can download games off the eShop, which in my opinion is better than the PS Vita's games. You can play classic games from your old systems, handheld systems, or depending on how old they are, like the NES or the Mega Drive, you can get whatever game you want. But the um, the PS Vita, even though it can do the same thing, at least you don't even need to put your hands all over the screen. However, the controls of the PS Vita, I actually like. It has way more buttons, it's more comfortable, um, unless you're account unless you're counting the 3DS XL because they're both really comfortable to hold really. Well the original 3DS wasn't very comfortable to hold. The um PS VR did a good job of that. Um the games, the way unlike the PS V the PSP, which is my favourite handheld device, I mean at a console, I I mean taking away phones and that. Um, they didn't use discs in plastic anymore. They they're actually using game cartridges. Now I know that most Nintendo handhelds use um game cartridges, and it's my belief that um Sony wanted to copy off that. Now don't um don't start raging in the comments because, like I said, this is just my opinion. I'm still. Overall though, I do think that the PS Vita is a good system. I just prefer the 3DS just because of the game library, the simple controls, um, the eShop is absolutely great, the graphics are still good even though I prefer the PS Vita, and I, in my opinion you can just do so much more on the 3DS than the PS Vita. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If I miss any points that you wanted me to touch on which I probably forgot, please comment and tell me. And um, yeah, just keep on commenting and liking and subscribing. That would be really good. Skills No Hacks, tell me what you thought of this video. If you thought that I was dissing, then just tell me in the comments below or we'll just talk about it on, at school. And... Oh yeah, and all those guys that are watching from school, what do you guys think now? Did I mention any good points? Or what do you guys think? You guys tell me in the comments below, and all the people that don't know me in real life. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!